Over the many years of doing YouTube on this channel, I've had the privilege to do so many amazing hikes throughout Queensland. So I think it's time that I put together a top three list for the best hikes in Queensland that I know. Let's get into that right now. The first place on the list for the top three hiking spots would have to be Carnarvon Gorge. Carnarvon Gorge is a stunning place and if you ever hear, you have to do the first part of the Great Walk. It's probably about 20k's return. You can choose how far you go, but this place, the images speak for themselves. As you hike through Carnarvon National Park, you'll be doing multiple creek crossings along the way. Nice. Check out how clear this water is. Very clear. Carnarvon Gorge is situated on the sandstone belt and it has got to be one of Queensland's top hikes. It's not a hard one and you've got to give it a go. How cool is that? Water seeping through the rock. Yeah, look, it's a water filter. So as you're walking along, you'll see these signs. Each sign is a separate walking track that you can follow. And as you're going down it, you're going to come along to points of interest. Oh, check out what we're coming up to now. I'll spin you guys right around. I'm going to say it a lot of times today. This is insane. Climb up that crack there. Wow. Check this out, Richard. That's pretty sick. The scale really is something, isn't it? It's huge. FO! <laughs> it worked. Yeah, it did. This place is also full of a lot of culture. You'll find lots of Aboriginal art. And this place dates back so long, it's like walking back in time. It's insane. The next hike on this list is called Mount Barney, and this hike is absolutely amazing. Don't put your hand in there, it's a big spider web. You're not going to the right, are you? Oh, oh thank wow. God. Good, good. I thought you looked like you were going to the right for a second. I'm like, ah, oh, what are you doing there? <laughs> it is going to be one of the greatest challenges in Southeast Queensland, if not all of Queensland. And climbing this mountain, mate, it is so remote. You're going to need some good navigational skills to see this one through. This part of the step, how do you get a lift? They need to grab it. Oh. I can't remember where I grabbed onto. No, I got it. Oh. God. Look down. Look at Richard right now, guys. That's something else. Man, this part's way more sketchy. We went up this. Yeah. Yeah, we did. You won't be disappointed when you reach the top and you have your 360 degree views of Mount Barney National Park and its surroundings. Welcome. Oh, I'm a happy man too, Richard. I mean, we're not at the top, but the last rock scramble, hey? Nice. Nice to the Yes. Almost there. Here we are. We made it. We made it. Unlike Mount Maroon, that's all you get for the top, hey? This is a stunning area and as you can see from some of the drone shots, it's a very, very big mountain. Probably one of the hardest bits of the mountain is navigating your way back down. If you came up by the southeast ridge like we did, which is the harder way up, you're going to have a tough time finding the south ridge back down. But if you have a GPS and some good navigational skills, make sure you carry a map as well. It's not too bad on your way down. We actually got lost on our first time up here, but this time we were well prepared. Just remember this mountain is not a safe one and it is very dangerous. So if you're going to attempt it, make sure you're fully prepared. Last on the list 
This one's probably one of my favourite camping destinations, I must say. Girawin National Park. So uh, here we are to the actual climb. Uh, I'll turn you guys around and show you what I mean. Nowhere else is there more rock scrambling, I think, and it's all stuff that, well, just about all of it is stuff that beginners can do, which is pretty awesome for rock scrambling. It is hard, and if you have a fear of heights, maybe not the place to go, but if not, this is one for you. Alright, so here we are at the top of the first pyramid, and behind me you've got Ballantin Rock. This is a pretty cool sight to see. This is why I like Girouin. There's no other landscape like Girouin. Rock formations everywhere, caves to explore. As you can see, some of the famous rock formations you might have even heard of, such as Balancing Rock. belt and the four hikes that you're seeing in these clips are of the pyramids, Castle Rock, Sphinx Rock and Underground Creek. You don't want to miss out on it, it is pretty spectacular. I decided I would pair all three of these hikes in, Girouin as one hike.